We are back to our um, FXC trade on the Euro ETF. It's Monday morning. The markets have not opened yet, but because of the turmoil coming out of Europe, the Euro is actually crashing quite a bit. So I actually wanted to close this trade out today because we've had a nice profit. Uh, the Euro has been on a bearish run from a uh, level of 132, which we put the trade on very perfectly, if I may say so. Uh, but that kind of uh, timing doesn't happen. So I, I want you guys to be clear that was a uh, ridiculously well-timed uh, entry. And uh, things like that are very rare. But uh, we did do that and it turned out to be a fantastic trade. But you can see now, if you recall, we had put in a conditional order that if the euro ETF itself went over 129.01, that's when we're going to close the trade. It would have to close the trade automatically. But now you can see today the euro is down to 127.79 in the pre-market. So it's going down by about 77 cents today. And so this position is going to see more profit. And But we don't have to worry because our order is set at, at the condition of 129. So maybe what we want to do is we want to write this winner a little bit more and what I'll do is, depending on how the market opens and how the FXE opens, I'm going to move down my conditional order to about 128.25. So we'll move it down from 129 all the way down to 128.25. We still have five contracts left on the FXE. It's Monday morning, April 14th. I'm sorry, May 14th. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to write this trade a little bit more to the downside and see how far it goes. So the last five contracts, we're just letting it run. This is how you let your winners run. You capture profits at periodic times because you don't want to lose that profit. But when you have a good trade going, you need to let the winners run. And the FXC certainly has been a fantastic trade for us. So we're going to let it run. And what I'll do is I'll come back after the market opens and see if we can. Uh, in fact, I can do that right now. So this is our conditional order. And you can see that the, uh, the condition is that FXC mark price is at or above 129. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and change, replace my order. And what we'll do is uh, we'll come to the conditional. You have to click this wrench here. And instead of 129.01, I'm going to make it as 128.25. So this is going to allow us to capture another four five hundred dollars of profit on the FXC trade and perhaps even more because now all we need to do is to move our conditional our threshold price down as the euro continues to go down. So instead of closing our trade what we'll do is uh, because we have a, a long put so the long put has unlimited profits on the downside so as long as the stock keeps moving down you can capture unlimited profits. So what we'll do is we're going to let this five contracts run and see how far the euro goes down. And all we need to do is change this threshold price uh, uh, to make it a lower price every time the euro goes down. So right now it's trading at uh, one. Uh, the bid price here you can see in the pre-market is going to be around 127.76. So by setting our threshold price at 128.25, we are giving a 50 cent buffer. So if the euro goes up by 50 cents, only then will this order get executed. And we'll see how long we can ride this trade. Anyway, so now it's changed to 127.75. So all I'm giving this room is about 50 cents. So you can see because I want to protect the profit at this point. So... The FXC is going down and as long as it's going down, we're going to ride it all the way down. But the moment it turns around and goes up even by 50 cents, I want to close this trade because it's a good trade. We've got a lot of profit. I think we've uh, pocketed over uh, $3,000 or $3,500 profit on the FXC trade. And this is uh, how we ride the winner. So at this point, I'm going to turn it down to 127.75. We can see it's trading at $127.22 uh, today. So uh, we'll put our condition, our threshold condition at 127.75 and let this one ride. So we've changed that. And so now if we look at the order, it is 127.75. So we are good to go. 
and so we'll keep we'll, we'll keep watching what the euro is doing but uh, what we want to do at this point is to protect the profits we are back to our fxc euro trade and this is still may 15th uh, so we checked on this trade this morning and we changed uh, our threshold price but since then the euro has gone down by another 50 cents so you can see that we have a total profit of uh, $1,900 just on our five contracts and just today we've had a profit of $400 so this trade is just um, is just keeping on giving so now what we have is a 127.25 so it's good that I came back and checked on it uh, because we hadn't done something right so now it's set to um, a condition of uh, uh, the FXC trading at or above 127.25. So if it goes above 127.25, this trade is automatically going to get closed and we'll book our profits. But if it keeps going down, then that's what we have. We can uh, continue to uh, make some more profits. It is a long put. So what we have is an unlimited profit profile on the downside so we'll take full advantage of that and as the euro is going down we're going to uh, continue to make profits on this trade so we'll come back and check on it so you know it's still at 126.79 and if you recall our order is right here it's still in waiting condition you can see it and the condition is that if the fxe is at or above 127.25 that's when our order will get triggered we are back to our FXC Euro trade. Today is May 21st, and you can see that we have a five uh, market order. So this is the conditional order that we had placed on uh, the FXC Euro. So on Friday, the Euro took a good bounce, and today we can see that the S&P futures are also up about seven points, and the Euro futures, which are the slash 6E, is also uh, somewhat up uh, today it's been up uh, it, it's actually coming down but however you can see that it's got a bounce uh, yesterday and the FXE itself is trading at around 127.09 so if we come and look at our order this is our order we have a weight condition and our weight condition is at 127.25 so it's possible that the our weight condition might get satisfied today because uh, looks like the markets are up if the markets are up then uh, the dollar index is also looks like it's down a little bit and therefore the euro might go up so today we are going to see this order executed and if it doesn't execute I think I'm just going to close it because we've had a great run on this trade uh, we've made a profit of over four thousand dollars we've uh, left this trade to run as much as it could and although we could have gotten a slightly better point last week uh, because the euro was trading at around 126.5 and at that point we could have made a couple of hundred dollars extra but then you want to let the winners run and it's okay if you don't catch the best point but you need to catch most of the profit most of the run and that's exactly what we did with the euro so today the weight condition is probably going to get satisfied and this order will execute Otherwise, I'm just going to close it out because looks like there is some kind of a change back in the in the market sentiment. We don't know that for sure. It'll take us a couple of days to find out if this market sentiment has changed um, on a semi-permanent basis or is it just a temporary bounce. But regardless, you you know you've got to let you've got to close out your trades at some point. And in the case of the FXC, we got a profit of uh, over four thousand dollars. So that's a you know that's a great trade. So we've kept it for about three weeks or four weeks. And what we've done is we've booked a nice profit. And today we are going to close out this trade. So the FXC was a long put. We started with twenty contracts, and then we took off five and seven and things like that at various points in time. And then the last five contracts we've let it run. We've actually changed our threshold every now and then. We brought it down so that our uh, so that we could book the profit as much as we could. And I think we've hit that point now, and we're going to close out the FXE trade. So this has been a very good trade, and you know we've had a couple of losers. But uh, if you have your winners on the losers, we lost about four or five hundred bucks. 
but on the winners you 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 know if you can make 3 4000 on the winners and, and that's exactly what the game is you've got to let your winners run and book maximum profit possible on your winners and one out of five trades you're going to get a loser uh, and you need to make sure that you're cutting your losses down on the losers to as little as possible